there any pizza? I, I mean, I just had pizza for lunch. One deep dish fish pizza, just how you wanted it, dude. Fish pizza? Yep, with sardines, clams, oysters, and anchovy toppings. Oh, spew time. What would make anyone eat a fish pizza? It's all paid for, even my tip. Hey, you got any soda to go with that? Well, it's time to do some serious eating and some serious reading. Portal at School Library. supposed to find the portal. Fiction or non-fiction? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. Um, non-fiction, I guess. Row 23B. And remember, this is a library. Shh. Uh-oh. You got it. Uh-oh, again. You couldn't have spelled out the message in pepperoni. I wanted to make sure you'd read it before you ate it, mighty one. Well, you think of everything, don't you, Verge? I do my best. Yeah, then how come you made me take a portal to a basement in, uh... Where are we, anyway? Seattle. The reason is quite serious, mighty one. Dr. Stanley Kirby, one of the world's most brilliant scientists, disappeared just as he was on the verge of an earth-shattering discovery. <laughs> Uh, e e evening, folks. Uh, really, sorry about the floor. Listen, we were looking for my pet, uh, uh, chicken. A fowl, actually. Uh, please excuse the intrusion. We'll gladly remunerate you for any unnecessary damage. Yeah, what he said. No, 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 don't get up. We'll show ourselves out. <laughs> Hey, big guy. What spooked you back there? Nothing. Well, it sure seemed like something. I said nothing. Okay, okay, if you say so. Dr. Kirby worked for a billionaire industrialist named Otis Face. He may know something about the disappearance. Oh, yeah? Well, then let's just head for Face. I can't believe I just said that. We must hurry. Face Industries headquarters is located opposite that, um, the, the thing. What? The Space Needle? Cool! That must be Otis Face up there. But how or why is a mystery. Now don't forget what. I've never seen anything like it. Stand back. What's the matter? You've never seen a giant net before? Looks more like a giant web. Giant spider web? Probably not, Norman. That would indicate the unlikely possibility that there was some sort of giant spider. You mean like that? That is a big spider. <laughs> While that giant spider is attacking the police, we can save face. An excellent plan, mighty one. Coming, Norman? Yes, of course. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> Perhaps this isn't such a good idea after all. No? What, uh, what makes you say that? Whoa, this stuff is really sticky. <laughs> Now everything is going to be okay. Little Miss Muffet. <laughs> Along came a spider. <laughs> Little Miss Muffet. This guy is off his tuffet. <laughs> uh oh. Looks like Spidey wants to take a lunch break. Virgil! Norman! Norman, you must do something at once. <laughs> Mighty one.
go, obviously. I knew it all the time. Perhaps Face can provide us with an explanation of what exactly is going on here and the whereabouts of Dr. Kirby. Dr. Kirby? In my parlor! <laughs> they won't find you now! <laughs> Kirby! Kirby! <laughs> oh, that was a big help. Actually, it was quite informative. Obviously, Kirby is Face's prisoner. We must search every property in this city owned by Otis Face until we find this, uh, parlor. What exactly are we looking for, Burge? Why, a spider hatchery, of course. Coming, Norman? Of course I'm coming. I'm the guardian. Of course you are. We've searched everywhere else. This is the last of Face's properties. It's a real fixer-upper, huh? Allow me. <laughs> Whoa! What's the matter, big guy? <laughs> You're not afraid, are you? Afraid? No. I'm, I'm, I'm just being careful. Careful? <laughs> Careful is not exactly your trademark, Normie. Okay! I'm afraid of spiders. Don't ask me why. I've fought dragons, faced off against giant eyeballs and werewolves and dinosaurs, but spiders. <laughs> Poor Norman. I always thought he was so brave. The bravery is not the absence of fear. It's acting in spite of it, as Norman is. <laughs> Is that goop what I think it is? Do you think it's highly distilled spider venom? Uh, I was betting it was pancake syrup. Hey, Normie! At least the worst is over, buddy. We've seen the last of that giant spider. <laughs> you thought that was a giant spider? No, my friends. This is a giant spider. I presume? I'm so pleased you've heard of me. Well, actually, I hadn't until a couple hours ago. You see, for years I've worked to bring the curative powers of spider venom to light, and no one has ever even heard my name. It was my discovery, mine, and I was going to be the first to benefit by it, so I tested the serum on myself. What happened? Mr. Face had converted my formula to use for chemical warfare. He made it into a neurotoxin, and it made you into... A monster, yes. Say it, say it. Well, <clears throat> we, we've come to rescue you. Rescue me? <laughs> How ironic. Because you are my prisoners. The world must not know of my failure. Step back. I shall find an antidote to my condition and receive the recognition due me. You must excuse me now. I have much to do before I am human again. Wow. He should skip the facial and go straight for a mental makeover. In the meantime, my little pet is getting bored. You will amuse him for me, won't you? What's this guy think we are, huh? A pet sitting service? No, Mighty Max. I think you are dinner. Norman! Okay, big guy. This one's on me. Now it's really steamed. 
is a really big water spout. Water spout? Yeah, you know, uh, down came the rain and washed the spider out. I hardly think this is the time for nursery rhymes. Hey, wait a minute. We don't have a water spout, but we got the next best thing. <laughs> Normie, how about a little help here? Norman, I believe this situation calls for prompt action. Norman, pay attention! You can do it! Oh, man, that bug can sure boogie, huh, Normie? I... I hate spiders. Yeah, well, I gotta admit, they don't seem too fond of you either. <laughs> it would seem that we are now safe. Of course, there is a mathematical possibility I mistake. Man, I should have known. At the end of the song, the spider always climbs the spout again. Hey, Normie, you mind if I borrow this for a sec? Tonight, the DNA research lab was looted. And a chemical plant, too. Yes, but we really can't concern ourselves with every crime in town. We have to stop that madman Kirby. By a spider guy, according to two guards injured in the robbery. Well, that's different. We gotta hurry. But we don't know where to hurry to. Yes, we do. How do you know? Trust me! A power plant. But why, mighty one? Okay, he's already got the DNA stuff and the chemicals. So if he's trying to turn back to human, he's still gonna need a lot of energy. <laughs> Ridiculous. Take a long look in a mirror, six eyes. Uh, release us, and we can assist you in your attempt to become human again, Dr. Kirby. <laughs> Dr. Kirby is no more. I am a arachnoid. I would be a fool to become human again. This is humanity's future. I'm more actual. Here 
fear in every way. When I transform the human race in my own image, I shall be worshipped as the father of my people. That's what this is all about, isn't it? You just want your name in Mad Sinus Monthly. Well, we're not afraid of you, are we, Normie? Normie? Tomorrow, all oh, humanity would be like me. A few juices from a human cerebral cortex, and my formula would be complete. I'm not really human, in a strict sense. Ask Principal Hudnut. Bring him. Let me go. Hey, hey, somebody give me a giant rolled up magazine. Norman, the mighty one, remember your oath. Charlotte's Web four times. safety. The mixture of chemicals and electricity may cause an explosion. <laughs> I never see a spider again. I eat spiders for breakfast. Well, now don't get carried away, Normie. Hi. You know, spiders are amazing creatures and they can live just about anywhere, even in the total weightlessness of a space station. Spiders play an important role in natural ecosystems. They keep the number of insects in check, and most spiders are harmless to humans. Hey, a note. Looks like another adventure. Clean your room. Love, Mom. Oh, man. Talk about adventure. See ya.